When Americans moved west in the middle of the 19th century, they followed several major routes. The most popular was the California Trail. For most of the way, it followed the Oregon Trail and eventually made a cutoff along the Humboldt River through Nevada. The Humboldt River, if it were followed, of course you got a water route nearly 300 miles long. But by the time the Humboldt River exhausts itself by sinking into what's called the Humboldt Sink, and there, after that, you're on your own. This is all the 40 mile, there are actually two trails. One would be the Truckee River route, and one would be the Carson River route. But generally, the 40 miles would include the, the uh, mountains that you see here, and the desert playa, and then the playa on the other side. It is all referred to as the 40 mile desert. It's a dangerous place. The just heat itself uh, in a summer, as you can see now, you know, we're uncomfortable here. But the rush was to get to the Carson River so that you could uh, water your animals and get replenished with water. Often stock were just um, unloosed from wagons or whatever and rushed ahead to get water and then come back and pick up the wagons. And sometimes a few animals were bucked and didn't want to go back because they knew how deadly that was. One immigrant tells a story about how the mules that belonged to his party went crazy from thirst. They dashed around the corral um, chewing up sticks, biting wagon boxes, eating ropes, clothes, hats, anything they could get to. And when they smelled the river, they dashed, braying through several camps of sleeping travelers to get to it. A lot of animals didn't survive to dash and bray like those mules, though. Another immigrant tells us that in the last 20 miles of the dreaded 40-mile desert, you could have walked on dead animals all the way. They left the animals on the ground, yeah, which you could see the uh, oxen horns and that type of thing on the ground in the early days, right after the turn of the century. They were pretty well all over, as well as the wagon hoops and the uh, hubs from the wagon wheels and that type of thing. There became a point where things uh, were no longer valuable to them, like steamer trunks and things like that. And so therefore they were just left behind. They just pushed them out and, and headed out if their animals were able to go. If they weren't, they had to walk. It had to be a fearful crossing, if you will. I suspect some of them knew it was a death sentence. Animals falling by the wayside, people dying, and then burying them, stop, burying them in the ground, praying over them, and moving on, hoping to get to the Carson River or the Truckee River, wherever they were trying to, to uh, make contact. So uh, it was a death march. For a lot of people, it was a death march.